You know, obviously you're a deep, deep, deep expert. MIT, Google created Litecoin. For our audience that is just kind of learning, they're a little intimidated about the crypto world. How would you describe in a layman's terms the difference between LTC and BTC? Yeah, well, the simple way to think about it, I always see Bitcoin as digital gold and Litecoin as digital silver. So it's kind of silver to Bitcoin's gold. So if you understand how how Bitcoin works um, very similar to gold in terms of mining and everything, Litecoin works very similar to silver. So it's it's kind of a layman's uh, Bitcoin. What up, guys? Nakamoto Crypto here. Two game-changing upgrades are coming into the Litecoin ecosystem that are set to change Litecoin forever. Stay tuned. Like and subscribe. Let's get to it. So the Litecoin founder, Charlie Lee, is detailing two key upgrades coming soon in a new interview with crypto analyst Scott Melker. Charlie Lee highlights just why Litecoin's upcoming update, which will add more fungibility and privacy to the digital token, is crucial to sound money principles. Lee states that fungibility is something that is missing or not as good as in Bitcoin and Litecoin today. This is in terms of properties of good sound money. Both BTC and LTC have everything except fungibility. By fungibility, Charlie Lee means that every coin is the same as every other coin. Fungibility allows users to interchange goods or assets with other goods or assets of the same type because they are identical and have equal value. Even though one Bitcoin can be traded for another Bitcoin with both having equal value, blockchain transactions inherently provide additional information. For example, one specific Bitcoin may be held in a wallet that is worth millions while another Bitcoin may be held in a wallet that is worth just $10. Lee goes on to add that for money, you want it to be fungible. Any $20 bill you spend should be indistinguishable from any other ones. This is not the case for Bitcoin and Litecoin. If you really look into it, when you're spending these coins, you should pick and choose which coins you spend so that it doesn't reveal any private information you don't want to reveal. So if you got paid $10,000 as a salary and then you use those coins to buy coffee for example, then the recipient will see that you have $10,000 in your bank account worth of Bitcoin. And that's the kind of information that you would want to keep private. Even if you have nothing to hide, financial privacy is important. To tackle this privacy concern, Charlie Lee and his team are planning to implement a new technology dubbed MWEB. Lee states that what I'm working on is getting this technology called Mimble Wimble onto Litecoin as extension blocks. The project's MWEB, which stands for Mimble Wimble Extension Blocks, would add more privacy and more fungibility to Litecoin, and I think that's gonna help it become a better form of money and currency. So the first step is fungibility, the next step is privacy, and those are the two upgrades Mimble Wimble will bring to the table when it comes to Litecoin. Litecoin has been in the top 10 of the largest cryptocurrencies by market cap over the past decade. It is here to stay. What are your thoughts on these two big upgrades for Litecoin? Let us know in the comment section below. Like the video, share, subscribe for some daily crypto content. I have been Mr. Nakamoto Crypto and I'm out.